worse. Oh, I got to pee. I'll be back. Affirmative language. You know, shall not be. Oh, it's also the one right that uses the the phrase "well regulated." Correct. When it's talking about the militia and the state. So By the way, just for clarity's sake. Yeah. I'm not against the Second Amendment. I'm not against. I don't want to ban guns. But you're saying more guns makes us more safe. Yes. So when we got 400 million guns in the country, we had an increase and gun deaths went up. So when exactly does this curve hit that takes it down? Would a billion guns do it? Let's just run those numbers. You know, 400 million, 50,000. Uh huh. You're talking about a less than a fraction of not even a percent, of a hundredth of a percent. But it goes up, not down. So your argument is backwards. But if you want, okay, so, so let's, let's come up with a solution, okay? So one of the issues, a contributing factor, again, I, I believe it's the individual that is the problem. So your solution to that is give them more guns. So I'm saying that because people are the problem, we need to look at the problems that those people are facing and how do we address it. For but instance, you've removed the ability for the state to do that. No, because, because you're... If uh, you don't have background checks mm -hmm. and you don't have registration and permitting, how do you know who has a problem in terms of the people who you're giving a gun to? Do you want to talk about the background checks first or do you want to talk about solutions first? I want to talk about... What you're doing is you're bringing chaos to order. That's your subjective opinion, you, that it's bringing chaos to order. It's not my subjective opinion. We it have 50,000 gun-related deaths. That's not a subjective opinion. Okay, so That's dead people. Let me, let me back up for a second. In every other place in your life, you want to bring order, but guns are the outlier for you. So let's start with immigration. You want registration, maybe a wall, maybe not a wall, why do you want that? Well, one of the reasons is because of the fentanyl crisis. Right. I mean, okay, but... You, and but, you don't know when it's coming across. So what do you but do... But the fentanyl crisis is twice what the gun death crisis okay, is. Okay, so, so until the gun crisis gets no, to the fentanyl level... Not <sighs> he's doing, like, debate lord shit. But I guess he's doing a better job than I would in this circumstance because, like, the moment he drops fentanyl, I'd be like, yeah, that's really interesting because your solution to the fentanyl crisis is stupid as well. Why? Because 94% of the fentanyl that comes over the border actually comes through regular points of entry and not through border crossings. They come literally through the holes in the border. And I don't mean, like, holes as in, like, areas where people are crossing rivers. I mean, like, through ports. Okay, through checkpoints. Okay, so you're not even doing a good job advocating for that. And I would immediately, of course, turn around and, and hyper-focus on the other dumb shit that he's saying instead of moving it back into the, uh, you know, the, the point of contention, which is guns. Not until it. You don't want to bring order. No, not until it. But, but do you see my talk, point? If we're going to talk about protecting lives, that's a larger issue in uh -huh. America yes. than guns is. If we're talking about individual lives yes. of ways that they can be protected, loss of life in America. There's loss of life through fentanyl. There's loss of life through obesity. The obesity crisis in America mm -hmm. costs six times the number of lives as guns. Right. And, and so, you're the guy saying, you know what would help this? Ice cream. <laughs> no. So, you know what would help the problem that we're facing with firearms? What? The fatherlessness crisis that we have in America. If you look at the statistics... Oh, right. <clears throat> yeah, they're a dying from... Damn, this guy is a, is a talking point machine, dude. I mean, he's churning these out faster than other NPCs can. Respect to him, honestly. Like, major respect to this guy. He, is, he at least knows the talking points to fucking flip. God, every Republican is like this. It's crazy. Gun deaths. 80% yeah. of school shooters uh -huh. either came from a broken or fatherless home. Uh -huh. So you, you would say no. You know what, though? 100% of them used guns. And in a country where uh, they don't have guns, you know, they just don't have school shootings. So let's think about that for a second. I don't know. I feel like that's uh, fairly significant. No guns for fatherless homes. No, that's not what I would say. Oh. I would say that fathers need to be more engaged. Great. Uh, so let's crime let a firearm more, if they don't have a let's father. Let's put in the more home. resources into areas that are poverty stricken. 
all for it. And into fatherlessness, and that's something that we're, but we're doing. But why, in Oklahoma. with guns, are you against bringing order? I'm not against bringing order. You are. You're also. Is this guy married? I'm willing to bet he's divorced. Half these, half of the Republican Party's main constituency is father is is fucking fathers who were shit dads who like literally left their wives and children behind and are behind on fucking alimony and child payments. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and assume that he probably is a victim of divorce court, much like many of these fucking people are. So huh, the, the notion that it's like, oh, it's a fatherlessness that's a problem. It's like, okay, dude, sure. So making it less safe for cops and for people. When the police go to a domestic call, it's the most dangerous call they can go on. Mm -hmm. In your world, if they knew that there were firearms in the house, that's a safer call. Is that what you're saying? No, because police... Because why? Because police treat every situation as a, pot a potential... But aid. more guns makes us safer. So why don't, when the police go to a house filled with guns, why don't they breathe a sigh of relief knowing that this Second Amendment that shall not be infringed is being exercised so fruitfully in this home? Are you familiar with the 39-year-old woman in New Jersey? I'm familiar the, with a ton of anecdotes. The, yeah, I'm no, asking not, you a simple is, this question. This is not an anecdote, When John. the police this actually go to a... There's not an anecdote that's actually happened. That's What do you think anecdotes are, you fucking idiot? That... <laughs> Dude, dude, there's not an anecdote. It's actually happened. Yeah, no, that's what an anecdote is. You just described an anecdote. No, thank you, man. Um, thank you for demonstrating that you just don't understand what an anecdote is. That's awesome. I feel like liberals owning Republicans on gun has been a staple since Sandy Hook at least is cool and all, but nothing significant has happened in the past decade. It just feels like we're on a loop. The battle of debating conservatives on guns is not something we should be having in 2023. Yeah, like debating conservatives, like epic ownage of conservatives is also like kind of irrelevant in the grand scheme of things. Like it's good to like get people on your side. It's good to just basically galvanize your side and maybe uh, a couple people that are in the margins will look at that and go, you know what, this guy's making some good points. But ultimately it's just nothing but silly fun content. Let's be real. Like no one is going to be like, wow, this guy epically owned this conservative. Like, I really am an advocate for, for uh, gun control. Let's say you are an advocate for gun control. We live in a country where 75% of the country straight up said that Roe v. Wade should not be overturned. It is legal precedent. We want the Supreme Court to protect it. And what did the Republican Party do? They spent 35 years basically overtaking one of the most powerful entities on the fucking planet, the Supreme Court, with a conservative supermajority, and they destroyed it, regardless of the wishes of the American people. So even if you talk about something that is not as contentious as gun control, which, again, 90% of Americans believe in universal background checks, and if you were to have a conversation with, like, the, the most, like, rugged individualist gun owners, unless they're completely brain-broken, they would absolutely uh, recognize that like you know guns should at least have the same level of like security clearances as like a driver's license um it, 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 you're not going to get that you, you, no matter how many people decide that this is the right thing to do this is the good thing to do it doesn't matter you're still not going to get it because there's no initiative there's no movement from the government because the gun manufacturers are powerful and the lobby is powerful and there's moneyed interest here you know You came at the worst time to say, Hassan, please kill yourself. Like, it, this is the probably the happiest I've been in a long time. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, please, bro. Please kill yourself, bro. Please, bro. Please. You look ill. Please don't ban me, Cap. I mean, I won't ban you. Um, but I do hope you become a more happy person. No, I'm not going to ban him. I don't give a shit, dude. Whatever. Everyone knows this person's a fucking loser. Um, anyway. Well, she had a restraining order on her ex-boyfriend. I can run through I know, we can hundreds through and hundreds of examples mm -hmm. of women killed by their domestic partners by guns that were not taken away through uh, uh, the lessening of red flag laws. You're pivoting but to tonight, anecdotes. No, this is not. He did the deceptive editing meme and has been crying about this interview for three fucking days. I enjoy my conversation with John Stewart so much that I like to continue it in a live and edited format. 
Yeah. I mean, he, he actually did well. Most conservatives get fucking destroyed after like three talking points. So uh, I think he held himself. I think he held himself well uh, in comparison to uh, normal conservatives. Not anecdotes. What the police say. If we had gun registration. Yeah, he did. He we- lied well. Exactly. I'm just John Stewart's show would be happy to air a full unedited clip. Yeah, he eventually fell back on the it's just the constitution in the Oh dude, this channel this covers the entirety of the Murdoch mysteries. Oh, I fucking love that. We'll we'll cover all of that. We'll get to that. Um yeah, of course they're going to do that because ultimately uh, it makes no fucking sense. So you have to go back to like some dogmatic belief to justify your perspective. And if many Americans have already been uh, institutionally brain broken into believing that the Constitution is the supreme document that like gives people unalienable uh, rights that uh, God has afforded them, God has given them, then you you have to go back to that dogmatic understanding because you have no justification you have no justification for uh you know this kind of existence we were able to track purchases if we are they have a technology that every bullet would be stamped with an individual like a fingerprint if we had an atf that wasn't defunded we you see the dick Serto clip chimp of you uh no i have not seen it but uh not surprised he would be able to enforce gun laws more effectively and we would be able well, to I don't solve care. gun crimes more effectively you're against all of that. Because the person is the threat, not the firearm, not the knife. I get the, it. The person and the individual Great. is the one that is the concern Great. here. But you don't want anything that could help law enforcement or society determine whether or not a person is a good guy with a gun or a bad guy with a gun. Most the even The registry law would allow you to have much more effective background checks. Mm-hmm. So I don't understand why you won't just admit that you are making it harder for police to manage. By the way, I don't think this is a bad argument. Uh, People will say, oh, John, you're such a lib. You're like defending police. I think that that is actually a good argument. Straight up. I 100% agree with that argument because it's one, it's true. Okay. Two, it's a good point because it's a good launching point to also talk about the militarization of police. Okay. And, you know, everybody loves and cares about cops and their well-being. So, yeah, it is a good argument in this, in this conversation. It's one that I have used in the past as well. It's one that I talk about uh, sometimes when I talk about gun control. But it certainly is an important argument to make, and it's a very good one that he just made, especially uh, about how difficult it is that at the top of the hour, there's a three-minute ad break, and people want to defend themselves against that. And then they realize it's actually quite simple to defend yourself against the top of the hour ad break. Okay. Uh, The thin ad break line comes at the top of every hour. But uh, you can avoid them as long as you subscribe for $5 or for free. With a Twitch Prime, that is. That's right. Twitch Prime is free. You can also get gifted a sub if you're lucky. Here is the three minute ad break now. Luna Lux Nine, thank you for the five gifted subs, allowing five people to no longer see the ads at the top of the hour. Why would this jackass agree to be in this interview? There's no way that he's going to come out on top. Same goes for that lady in Arkansas. It doesn't matter. Um, at this stage, people don't really care about like what your words represent. They 
mostly just look at like, oh, this is my soldier and he's fighting against the opposition. You understand? <coughs> That's it. Like, he is able to portray himself fairly decently against the opposition here and that's it that's my champion he's going against the other size champion and he doesn't look like an absolute fucking dumbass even if he looked like a dumbass it still wouldn't change a lot of people's minds so it doesn't really matter part of the reason why police are armed to the teeth is also because every motherfucker in america has a gun demilitarizing the police also has to come alongside instituting adequate gun safety laws in the country and frankly taking away some guns absolutely that's a uh, genuine thing that I mention regularly. I, I believe that. The streets by allowing all of these guns to go out without permits, without checks, and without background stuff. Why is that hard? Why can't you just stand by that? Because that's not what I'm doing. I'm defending the individual's right to keep and bear arms. That's a different argument. Okay, but you may do. Trying. Here's here's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. You want to say I'm a Second Amendment purist and I'm making it safer. You're not. You're making it more chaotic, and that's not a matter of opinion. That's the truth. That is a matter of opinion, John. But why take away their Strom Dog? Thank you for the five tier and give this to us. Because certain of their tools that they're using would be infringements upon the people's right to keep and bear arms, upon their constitutional rights, upon due so process, you're saying upon other things. That registering is an infringement. Yes. <laughs> is voting a right? It's a right for citizens. Yes. Do you have to do anything to do it? Yes. What do you have to do? It depends on the state. What do you have to do? Sometimes you have to be you have to be at least 18 years old. What do you have to do? And Keep in going. some places you have to uh -huh. f have a government issued ID. He's going to say what? register. You have to. You have to. You have to be on the voter rolls. Register. You have to register. Hmm? So you have to register to a right. Is that an infringement? Does the right to voting say shall not be infringed? Oh, so this is just. Briar, uh, what briard eyes? Thank you for the ten gifted subs, allowing ten people to know along to see the ads at the top of the hour. It's a semantic argument now. No, it's not. You believe voting rights. Where'd this piece of shit go to college? I can't wait to see this shit. Nathan Dom. I mean, he's a state senator. Like, usually senator senators go to Yale and Harvard, but let's see. Education homeschooled? Oh my God. This motherfucker was homeschooled, bro. Oh, my God. That's it. He was just homeschooled. Oh, yeah. He graduated from the Abeka Christian Academy Homeschool in 2001. And then he moved back to Romania to continue working as a missionary and later became a dean of the biblical school affiliated with his mission. Fluent in Romanian. That's it. He hasn't done shit. He just got home. What the fuck? Unmarried at 40? Oh. Ooh. Can be infringed because it doesn't say specifically is it shall not be infringed. Is it infringed? No, that doesn't mean he's gay. And upon a 17-year-old's right to vote, since they don't have that right to vote. No. Oh, we, it's not an infringement on them? No, okay. ab absolutely not. Why not? You're the because you're the one making the argument, not me. I'm saying even rights have responsibilities. And that within those responsibilities, responsibilities are responsibilities yes. and order, otherwise it's chaotic. I'll go you one further. You want to ban drag show readings to children. To my house, yes. Why? Why, why, what are you protecting? Why can we prohibit ch children from voting, those under 18 from voting? Why are you banning, also that? Is, is that free speech? Are you infringing on that performer's free speech? They can continue to exercise their free speech, just not in front of a child. Why? Because the government does have a responsibility to protect. I'm sorry? The government does have a responsibility uh -huh. in certain instances to What's protect children. What's the leading cause of death amongst children in this country? And I'm gonna give you a hint. 
it's not drag show readings to children. Correct, yes. So what is it? I'm presuming you're going to say it's firearms. No, I'm not going to say it like it's an opinion. <laughs> yeah, he even he even sent that over like, you know, you're probably going to say firearms, you know. I'm presuming you're going to probably say firearms. Like, no, that's the fa that's factually correct. That's what it is. It's firearms. More than cancer, more than car accidents. And what you're telling me is you don't mind infringing free speech to protect children from this what amorphous this? thing that you think of. But when it comes to children that have died you don't give a flying fuck dude i don't care about this whatever yeah i was making fun of train wrecks is like uh, horrific facial hair why are you linking that to me it's like from four days ago homie's like bro i know you're i know you said you were really happy uh it's time to fucking dive you head first into drama that didn't actually uh turn into real drama so maybe we'll get it to turn into real drama now like yeah i made fun of train wrecks facial hair I don't care. Because they were making you look like you ignored his stupidity. Yeah, I, I don't care. It has a thousand likes in four days. Who gives a shit? I was having fun with it. Fuck. To stop that because that shall not be infringed. That is hypocrisy at its highest order. Yeah, hypocrisy arguments don't actually work. Even if they did, though, and even, even if you, like, genuinely change the minds of so many fucking people,